Scorpio, hi. Welcome to your read for December 2021. We are going to be looking at the energies here with the tarot. These are general readings, so take what resonates and leave the rest, please. If you would like a personal read that does resonate with you, reach out to me via Instagram. Send me a request to DM, and I will reply to you with the information that you need for a personal reading. We can do tarot. We can do your birth chart. We can do your tarot with your birth chart and the current transits. See what's going on with you, Scorpio. Um, so, yeah. This will probably be the only week I upload all 12 videos in a row, but just this week I don't have time to play with YouTube. Um, I'm having a martial arts test next week, this weekend. And it's one that I delayed for a month because the last time they were having the test was during a Mercury retrograde. And that Mercury retrograde was specifically the feeling of having to go back and do something over again. I wasn't going to do my test during no Mercury retrograde. All right, Scorpio, you've been having a lot of reads about changes, really big changes. Let's see what comes out for you for the month of December. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. What's going on here? <laughs> What's going on here, Scorpio? You have three queens that showed up in what the universe wants you to know, your suggested approach, and your hopes and fears. There's three queens here, and at the top of it, you have the Ace of Wands. That's why I'm kind of like, what's going on here? This is a complete shift from the last two reads I did for you, Scorpio. This is going to be a very good... I think this read is going to be very important for you. This is about you accepting changes. And I think you pulled this in your general energy last time, didn't you? In the last video? Yeah. Work. There's a career situation here changing for you. And there's balance, right? Or this could be if it's relating to relationships, you know, take it how it resonates. If it's going to be about your friend, is it going to be about career, love? Take this how it resonates. I'm just talking about it in terms of love, okay? But there's, well, in terms of career, I'm talking about this because I see the eight of coins. I want to talk about career here. And there's a career situation that you're being challenged to find some balance with. There's a career situation, but I feel that that's kind of mutating here. With all these queens here, this is mutable energy. This is you changing something. And this is what you're good at, Scorpio. You're, you're awesome at this, and you're starting to find happiness here. Um, why you're here at this read is because you are looking for happiness, but I feel like this is a very positive card that, yes, you are going to find happiness in some sort of change here with a career. Um, the two of wands showing up here in the past, you had a decision to make here where you're gonna put your world. Now, the wand is tied to the wall there. You see it's kind of clamped to the wall. It's not so interesting to him. Now the wand that's free, that's more interesting. He wants to take his world that way with that stick. And he's sitting on the tower, so that tower has to crumble eventually. So it's better to take the stick that he can take with him on the road after that tower crumbles and he can walk with that stick wherever he wants to go by that lake he's looking at um, some of you might be trying to do work overseas as well this is a very positive influence this uh, saggy capricorn season for that very positive influence of course the world is kind of like re-shutting down because of the cryptochronic whatever virus <laughs> whatever they're calling it but it's starting to kind of shut down again right um, I know I'm especially feeling that. 
you have this page of pentacles in your strength. Uh, these are messages, messages that you've been waiting for for a long time are starting to come your way here. And I think it could be messages coming via text. It could be messages coming via like downloads. However, these messages are getting to you. It's going to be different for everybody. Although this is an earth thing, so it's going to be on the 3D. It's going to be like uh, a mail. It's going to be text message. It's going to be about uh, maybe somebody actually voicing it to you. Um, about job offers, right? About career, about love. You have this page of swords here supporting the read. Now it's time to study or do something new. Um, there is a change happening here, but there's kind of a pause, I feel. And you know exactly what this pause is. And while this pause is happening, you are supposed to learn something. So if you want to start like a YouTube channel, I have a Scorpio friend that wants to start a YouTube channel. He needs to learn something. So there needs to be something that needs to be learned here is what the universe is, is kind of pointing at to you that's supporting the read here is learning. Learning is what you're going to be doing in December when it comes to the situation changing. Now... You have these three queens. I don't want to disrespect them. I'm going to pull this side. I'm going to pull all the cards so that you can see. You have three queens here. There is a change in your emotional, physical, and passionate world. And a very new beginning where you can plant your roots for the rest of your life. When I look at this Ace of Wands, I get... Sagittarius in Vedic astrology, the Mula Nakshatra. Now, Mula Nakshatra is tied to roots, roots that are planted from that tiny seed that clench down into the ground and you're unable to move that big tree, right? Because there's so many roots, right? You have to get a truck, you have to get stuff to pull out that root. Well, this is the beginning of planting those roots for you. And you have these three queens supporting that. What the universe wants you to know is this season change had to happen for you, Scorpio. Had to happen. And it affected you emotionally. What you're supposed to do is focus on the physical, the learning, the money, the home. Right? She has a whole ecosystem around her. A beautiful ecosystem. Continue doing that. Some of you are already doing this, I know. And then this Queen of Wands. Leo Sagittarius Aries. Passion. Your passion coming to light. The passion... In a hobby, the passion in a love situation. It's finally taking root. We went from all this fear-based changes last month to this beautiful light energy of, nah, we can finally breathe. I definitely feel that in this read, and I feel the confidence. I feel an air of confidence now with you, Scorpio. If you've been following my channel for the last two, three weeks, I mean, I even cried with you in the last two. <laughs> Was it the last two videos? I think I started tearing up watching your read because I felt so scared. It felt like if I would have talked about what I saw at the beginning, I would have scared a lot of you and drove anxiety. That's why I took my time with the read, and I, and I kind of beat around the bush till I got to the end and I could explain why that scary thing had to happen to you. Now here, this is you accepting change and saying this is the changes that I actually needed to be happy. Huh. Just the way I said in the two reads ago, it's just the way I said. Around springtime, you guys can come back to this read because this is an end of the year read, right? It's the end of December, right? And you're you're going to get to... This is your December read, but it's the end of the year read almost, right? And um, for 2022, around springtime, whatever changes happen between October and now, 
is gonna actually have the support system that you needed from whatever ended the last time around. Now you're gonna have the supports, the roots kind of ground in, and you're gonna be able to create a lot of beauty, a lot of art, a lot of emotion. You're gonna be able to create that because it's been blocked for a while when you have that energy, your thing that you needed to change. If this is about a love situation, um, you have love coming in from all areas. I wanted to say all areas of the world, right? You might have like a foreign relationship coming too because this is kind of like a long distance thing. Maybe you had a long distance relationship fall and now you get into another long distance. If that's what you're into, it could work out, okay? I'm going to pull a animal oracle, spirit animal oracle card for you. Okay. Yeah, the koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. Spirit has a plan for you. And the cool thing is that you've learned to work with the changes. I also get with the koala spirit like a sleep because koalas sleep a whole day, I believe. And I feel so bad for those koalas, like I still see them when there was those big fires in Australia and the, the koalas were burned. Um, I don't really necessarily know the situation that's going on with the koalas over there, but maybe if you, if you uh, Google what's going on with the koalas in Australia, maybe there's some good news about that now, right? But maybe some certain things had to change there, I don't know, because that was a terrible experience for the koalas and I feel that was a very scary thing too. When I watched those videos, it was really scary and I love animals. You guys know I have a cat. I have to have an animal wherever I live. Um, so maybe there's a message there for you. Hopefully they do something good with the koalas there. They're able to get the population back up or some of them healed and they're able to resume their normal koala things here. Just normal koala things going on in paradise. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, I think spirit has a plan for you. And I think what you need to do is just a little bit of learning, a little bit of relaxing, taking care of your beauty sleep. Um, if you sleep on the couch every night, that's not working for you. You need to actually sleep on a bed if you have that available to you. Relax. I don't know why I'm pulling that up. That's a separate thing that might resonate for some of you. Um, definitely get some rest um, for you, Scorpio. That's all I got. Really amazing read again, Scorpio. I'm having fun doing Scorpio reads now. Um, when I first started the channel, your reads were kind of like, ma, ma. But then I had other reads that were really good and very interesting. But I feel like it's your season just passed. And now whatever changes kind of you know, kind of like ripping out all the old hardware out of the computer and putting in new hardware. I think Spirit's really doing that for you and putting in new stuff into the system for you so that you can operate better here for the coming years to come, right? And it's going to be a long time. This transition is going to affect your life the rest of your life because you're going to be able to plant those roots. So, very cool stuff, Scorpio. I'll catch you guys again next time. Bye, Scorpio.